This tutorial is based off of Blake Lively's hairstyle she has worn in an updo at one of her events that she's gone to. And this is basically my twist of a braided updo that it's really effortless and kind of messy. So I hope you guys enjoy. To begin, you're going to start with blown out straight hair, maybe with a little bit of texture in it. I'm going to add some texture later and you'll see how I do that. First, we're going to section our hair into a side parting, as you see me doing here. And then I'm going to take a side of my heavier side or my bang side and part out a fringe in the front so it has a little bit of those wispies that we'll go back to later on. And then I'm going to take a section about two inches back and about three inches long down, as you can see me parting off right here, so just as you see in this parting. I'm going to clip off the rest of the bottom so that it stays out of my way and pull my fringe over to the other side so I don't get that in my braid. Then I'm going to start at the very top, take a section, break it up into three strands and we're going to start our fringe I'm going to be braid. doing an inverted braid so not the braid that sits on top. So we're going to take our back strand, cross it on the top of the middle strand, take our front strand, cross it over the top of the middle strand, add hair to that front strand cross the back strand over the top of the middle strand, add hair to that back strand, take the front strand, cross it over the top of the middle strand, add hair into that now front strand. And you wanna make sure that you have a little bit of that hair in the front still there. So we're gonna take our back strand, cross it over the top of our middle strand, add hair to that back strand, take our front strand, cross it over the top of our middle strand, and add hair to that front strand. I'm going to continue this down to about right here. Um, I'm going to go one more time or so and then we're going to continue this down as just a regular three strand braid. You can take your bangs and throw them back over that way they don't keep on falling down in your face like they were doing mine. And I'm just going to see and make sure that this is how much of a braid I want and it is so I'm going to continue my braid all the way down and secure it with a clear elastic or a hair colored elastic. This is what the side of your hair should look like, pretty much just like this. Then I'm gonna go into the other side. This is optional, you don't have to do it, but I'd like to. And I'm gonna take a section about an inch back and just create a regular three strand braid going all the way down. And then I'm going to secure it with a clear elastic. So you have two braids on the top of our head. Then I'm gonna pull all of my hair over to the side and on the lesser side of my fringe, so the side that I'm not having the French braid, I'm going to pull out a strand from the very underneath about this width and I'm going to create a regular three strand braid here. Secure your end again with a clear elastic. Moving on, you're going to section your hair from your parting all the way down the middle of your head and bring this forwards. I'm gonna start on one side of my hair take a small bottom section and I'm going to clip the rest of it up. Then we're going to use our one and one fourth inch curling iron on about a 350 degree setting and curl everything away from our face. This is just going to give you some added texture to your hair so that it doesn't lay flat. And I'm going to let it sit there for a second, pull it out and curl the rest of my hair doing the same technique. I'm also going to curl the ends of my braid so that it has a little bit of that bend to it. Instead of curling my hair with 400, I'm going to turn the degrees down, allow that to sit while it cools down, and I'm going to take my hairspray and really rough up my hair. So I'm going to shake my hair and my ends and spray some hairspray through it. That way it gives a more worn and messy look because that's basically how Blake's hair is done in the picture. And once you're done, it's going to be quite ferocious. Then I'm going to take my cool down curling iron and curl my bangs going away from my face. And then you might want to add a little hairspray if they tend to fall out. Taking a section from the top of my braid, from behind my braid, down to my ear, I'm going to pull this forwards just like this. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side of my hair. And I'm going to grab these two strands and put them under my chin together and clip them up, looking a little crazy, but it's okay. And in the back, I'm going to take my braid out and then take up half of the top of my hair. So just as you see here, and I'm going to clip this up and away. And we're going to take all of this hair, except for the braid, and we're going to twist it, kind of going whatever way you want to go. I'm going to go towards my face and then I'm going to grab a small strand from the very bottom and I'm going to pull the rest of the hair up while holding onto that one strand just as you see here. It's going to create a little bit of volume and a little bit bigger of a bun and then I'm just going to swirl this around in a circular motion. Put this in the place that I want it. Kind of hold it there. You can check it in a mirror if you need to and then you're just going to start pinning in place. 
don't worry about any of your pins showing because we're gonna go back over with the top section just as you see me doing here now. So you can take your clip down, pull everything down and do basically the same step. So I'm just gonna hold it all together, twist it in the similar motion that I did before and then I'm going to hold a little small baby strand and put that up. Pin all of that into place and then I'm gonna go back with my braid throw this around and then pin it. Then I'm gonna go onto the side of my hair that has my fringe and my French braid and I'm gonna pull all of this back, kind of getting all of the strands that you want so a little bit of your fringe falls out in the front so that we can create that softer look in the front. And I'm gonna pull all of this to the back and curl it around my whole bun and then pin this into place, making sure you can't see your bobby pins. Then I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side, pulling my braid up first and then putting the rest of my hair all the way around my bun, making sure I have everything and then pin this into place. You can kind of mess it up a little bit more if it's not as messy. Then I'm gonna go to the front and just pull down a few little pieces on the side so that it's a little bit more wispy and whimsical. And then I'm also going to take a little bit of teasing into my fringe area so that it stays because my hair is very clean and it doesn't want to stay. And then I'm just going to sweep part of my fringe up and back. That way it's not all hanging out. And then I'm just going to pin that into place, making sure that my bobby pins are hid and my ends are kind of tucked up and under so it doesn't spray out. Then just kind of piece apart those little pieces that are hanging out and then take your favorite holding hairspray, hairspray all over and you can pull a little few pieces out just like this if you want it to be a little bit more windswept looking. Push those back and hairspray into place. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial of a Blake Lively updo. And if you wanna check out any of my other tutorials, please do. This is my last one, which is a simple hair care routine. Go and check it out and figure out how I keep my hair long and healthy. Thanks guys and enjoy.